Hi guys! In this episode of Ready K, I am really excited to once again be reacting to a song requested by my good friend Yuri. I am once again reacting to these kind of songs because last time there's a couple of things that I forgot to react to and uh, at least one thing that I reacted wrongly to. Because my good friend Yuri had actually asked me to react to the song that girl by the artist Yuto Adachi, who I believe is from the boy group Pentagon and he's a Japanese member. Um, but I actually reacted to a single that he had done like a year earlier, I believe, because I'm pretty sure this is like a more recent release. And I don't know how I didn't realize that it was the wrong thing that I had reacted to, but it happened. And I owe him this reaction now as well. So yeah, I am pretty excited to get into this for the same reason like what I said uh, in my reaction to the previous song of Yuto's, uh, where it's because my good friend Yuri knows my taste very well, most likely I'm gonna end up enjoying this song. Even though I expect it to be very different in terms of its vibe compared to the first song, which was more moody, but it was still very much like the kind of moody so uh, song that I really like. I expect this one is going to be a little bit more playful and more exciting but exactly how exciting i don't know all i know is that i am hoping that i'm gonna like it and i also want to warn you guys because we are very much nearing the 1000 uh rate the k episode um more or less because i've done some videos which technically don't necessarily count it's a little bit weird we're basically at the 1000 mark at this point and I've decided that once I hit the 1000 mark, there is going to be a little bit of a change in the way I present my rea K-pop reactions in Ray the K. Um, because there's just so much K-pop songs continuously being released and me, especially now that being completely incapable of keeping up with all the releases, I am just kind of forced by that alone to shift the way I cover all of these songs. But I also have kind of gotten sick of the way I cover these songs with like in great detail and with like a lot of thoughts and stuff. It's become a little bit draining and I feel like it's also kind of becoming repetitive because after a thousand reactions, I've probably said all I could possibly say about the quality of a K-pop song, you know? So, to a certain extent, I'm just looking for something to kind of refresh my excitement for actually covering K-pop because I do still want to share my opinions on K-pop songs, but it's just become... I feel a little burnt out, I feel like there's not much more I can say that is original, and I just can't keep up. So because of that, most likely, uh, I'm going to be shifting it to a more chill approach, more... Uh, of an approach where I'm just sitting at my computer and listening to the songs rather than like um, outright like sitting down and focusing on the song alone and like it's not gonna be like this where I'm just sitting for this song right now and doing a reaction only to it before moving to another song no it's just gonna be more of like a I guess you could say like a listening party kind of approach like what I do with albums but even more chill because I'm still gonna share my opinions but I'm not gonna like go on for too long. I'm just gonna say like a couple of sentences about each song, maybe some things during the song itself. And I'm gonna be doing only one reactions for every single song, unless I really, really enjoy it. So yeah, you're gonna see how the, uh, the way I'm gonna be doing it, the approach is going to change. But I just wanted to warn you that that is coming going forward like once we hit the 1000 mark officially um that's what's gonna be happening there might be some videos past that mark which still are gonna have the old way of doing it um but most likely i'm just gonna shift it like that and it's most likely gonna be a bunch of songs together in one video instead of just a video for each song you know but yeah enough to chat about that Let's get into what you're here for, which is my reaction to That Girl by Yuto Adachi. So let's get into it in 3, 2, 1.
Yeah, very different vibe already. Why do I feel like I've already heard that beginning quote somewhere? I mean, it's fairly possible that I've accidentally heard it. Yeah, this is definitely my kind of K-pop. So once again, my good friend has nailed it. This is like genuinely really good, what the hell? Like I'm genuinely loving this. Yeah, I'm gonna be going to university in the fall. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be living the life of the girl, but most likely I'm gonna be living the life of the guy. Let's be real here. At the end of the day, I am a nerd and an introvert as well, so... That girl is indeed really pretty. Okay. Honestly, this was genuinely like really catchy and really entertaining. It's not that I've ever doubted my friend in terms of like whether he's gonna actually give me a song that I that I like or not. He is pretty good about that. So far, I don't think there has been a single time where I've actually like hated the song. Maybe it has not necessarily been my favorite, but I've always at least liked it. And this is definitely the case here as well. I genuinely enjoy it. Um, and in this case, it's even like stronger than just at least liking it. I genuinely love it. I genuinely can see myself listening to this outside of this reaction. It's not going to be just um, something uh, that I'm saying for the video or anything. I'm genuinely liking it. And that was the same for his previous song, which was, again, like more moody, which is uh, also my kind of K-pop. Um, but yeah, I like this. It's fun, it's playful, it's really catchy, it's hard hitting, it's fast paced, it's hitting all the exact spots that I want a K-pop song to hit. And it did it. And I also really enjoyed the music video because um, right now it's going to be um, very relatable to me because for those of you who don't know, I'm going to be starting university um, in the fall. Um, this is something that I said a couple of years ago that I was going to be starting university back in 2020 and indeed I did actually start going to university back then but because of COVID it didn't really truly work out so I kind of dropped out uh, two months in it wasn't really even two months in really because they barely went the first week and it was all online anyway but now I'm actually going to be attempting it for real and I'm going to be actually putting the effort to study and everything so um, seeing this music video be set in like a university setting and seeing the kind of like cliques and relationships there really uh, hits me here so I really really like that but there's not really much to be gotten from uh, listening to this song a second time you can see how uh, my new approach to covering K-pop song is starting to bleed into these uh, reactions already before the 1000 mark but yeah, this is kind of, I guess, what I'm going to be doing in the future. I'm going to be saying a couple of things, maybe as extensive as it is now, maybe not. I don't know, it's just going to depend on the song. But yeah, I like this song. It's catchy. 
I'm listening. I'm definitely listening to it at least a little bit outside of the reactions, but probably quite a lot, honestly, all things considered. Um, the only fault that I really have uh, with this song is probably its length, um, which is part of the course nowadays. I don't like the fact that so many songs nowadays are this short, but it's not like there's much I can do about it. So I've just resigned to the fate of songs being like two and a half minutes at this point, even though I think they should be three and a half minutes, but whatever, whatever. So in terms of a rating for this one, I think I'm probably going to go with a 9.3 out of 10 because it just kind of gives off that vibe. It's like very playful and it's not really, it doesn't really dominate me in a way I feel like a 10 out of 10 should dominate me, but it's really fun. It's really catchy. Uh, it's really playful and it has a music video which right now is very appealing to me because of the situation that happens in the music video being very similar to what's going to be happening to me very soon. So yeah, I think it's a good song. It honestly doesn't really have any flaw other than the length, like I said, but I still don't necessarily feel like it would deserve a 10 out of 10. I feel like 10 out of 10 should be like mind blowing and like shocking in some way. Whereas this one is like, Oh yeah, this is really catchy. I definitely uh, will enjoy myself uh, listening to this song, but it's not really a song that blows me away, you know. But I still really like it. But yeah, this was a great song. Thank you for requesting me to check this one out, Yuri. I'm sorry that I reacted to the wrong song last time. Hopefully you're happy with this reaction. And hopefully everybody else is happy with this reaction as well. Um, and yeah, so what did you guys think about this song? Comment thoughts down below and let's have a discussion about this. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently two patrons on Patreon. Deadpool and Clifton Carter. Thank you guys for your support. I really appreciate it. It really means a lot to me. You have decided to support me. You have continued to support me such a long time. I hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, Please leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out the the description to my Wattpad where I post my stories. Because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And uh, also make sure to check out all the links in the description to all the different social medias, including my Discord, if you're interested in that. And if you end up enjoying my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or my Coffee account or my PayPal, where you can pledge your support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do any of that, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways, like liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!